Did you get a MetaQuest 3 for Christmas? Because I know I did, and I'm trying to find the best free games on the market to play right now. So without further ado, we are going to be reacting to Grayman VR's video he posted about a week ago titled, The Best Free MetaQuest 3 VR Games. I will tag him in the description below, but let's dive into this video and see what he has to offer. Did you just get a MetaQuest 3 for Christmas? If you did, watch this video because I'm going to be going over the best free VR games of 2023. One of my favorites on this list has to be VRFS. VRFS is soccer everything game? you could hope for for a virtual reality soccer game. One of the elements that makes this game stand out is its controls. Using your controllers as your feet is the perfect way to implement soccer into a VR game. You can also play as a goalkeeper by tapping the B button on your controller. You can play in free play, online, or in a 6 versus 6 AI match. The replayability of this game is amazing. I can play for hours and never get bored. VRFS is one of the best free games on Oculus, and it is a must-have in your library. That seems pretty cool. I like how you said use the controllers for your feet, so I'm guessing you're running like this with your hands, uh, and it counts your feet, but what I did hear is he said 6v6 AI games. So I'm not sure if you can play against real people or if it's just all AIs, but that game did, see, did seem pretty cool because I love soccer and my daughter plays soccer, so we'll probably play that one. Let's look at the next game he has listed here. Next, we have a VR game that is criminally underrated. Criminally. Volleyball. This game is such a simple volleyball game, but it's so effective. You can either play this volleyball game online or against AI. There are different power-ups that can affect your game, such as the bomb ball. This adds such a fun twist to the game and makes it not as repetitive. There's also an item shop where you can customize the appearance of your egg. It's such a simple concept, but it's so effective. So if you're into sports, this is a must buy. Next, we're on to the best VR basketball game, Blacktop Hoops. Let me start off this game by saying that the AI is incredible. Look at this dunking animation. You can also play in online street games, which are super fun. Also, the okay. dribbling mechanics are perfection. You receive points in real time based on how good your skills are. And if you get enough points, an awesome animation plays of you hitting a half-court dunk. There are also so many cosmetics in this game, so you can make your character unique. When picking out the best basketball basketball VR game, I was between Blacktop Hoops, Gym Class, and Big Ballers VR. But in every aspect of gameplay, Blacktop Hoops wins. This is one of the best games to start off your journey in virtual reality, so get it now. If All right, but that one looks pretty cool. I wonder if any of these games that he's going to be saying has the hand tracking um, that you can do on the Quest 3 where you don't have to use your controllers. It'd be really cool in a basketball game. It's a free version of the game, so it might not work in this one, but for maybe paid versions of basketball games, you can have it where it tra track your hands, so you can actually shoot like you're shooting a ball instead of having it in your hands. Let's check out the next one. If you've ever wanted to take your anger out in VR, this is the game for you. Even though it's one of the more lower quality games on this list, it's still one of my favorites. Smashy Smashy is exactly what you'd expect. It's a game where you smash things. This game has a bunch of different maps and modifications, but it does get quite repetitive very quickly. But still, it's a great VR game to relieve stress. By completing various time trials and objectives in the game, you can unlock new weapons. Time trials do take quite a lot of time to complete, so tell me in the comments how long it took you. But still, this is a really fun game that everyone should check out. But wait, these videos take a long time to make, so subscribing and liking would help me out a bunch. Thank you guys for all the support. Now back- Like I said, I'm gonna tag his uh, channel in the comments if you guys want to like and subscribe to his channel as well. That'd be awesome to help him grow as well. So let's get back into it and watch the next one. To the video. Next, we have a virtual reality snowboarding game, Slope. Out of all the games on this list, I'm most surprised that this one is free. There's no other game on the MetaQuest store that you can get an accurate snowboarding feeling like this game accomplishes. The replayability on this game is also amazing. There's a global coins, score, and time leaderboard, so you can always perfect your runs. And you can also make your own map. There are hundreds of fan-made maps to play on. And although there isn't technically multiplayer, you can still race your friends. By clicking on someone's name on the global leaderboard, you can race the 
the hologram of their previous run. Although it isn't technically multiplayer, it's still fun to race others. There's also a real-time radio in the game where you can listen to all of your favorite music. And one of my personal favorite parts about this game is the movement controls. Using your controllers as the feet attached to the snowboard is a really fun way to implement this sport into virtual reality. It's such a fun game that every MetaQuest owner needs to try. Oh, it's pretty dope. And I don't think I can make one of these videos without including Gorilla Tag. Gorilla Tag is by far the most popular game on the MetaQuest, even when comparing it to paid games. There are hundreds of Gorilla Tag fan games on the MetaQuest store and thousands of Gorilla Tag content creators. But how did Gorilla Tag achieve its status? There were already a bunch of tag games on the MetaQuest store, but the movement is what set this game apart. For the first time in virtual reality, you had to swing your hands around, like a gorilla, to move. But this game is not easy to learn. This game requires a lot of muscular endurance and flexibility to complete tasks. Climbing up walls took me about two months to perfect. There are a bunch of different maps that are all fit for someone's playstyle. There's also thousands of different cosmetics, so you can make your monkey unique. Really, one of the only bad parts about this game is the community. In every lobby that you join, you'll find someone being mean or someone that's under 10 years old. But overall, the gameplay is a 10 out of 10, and it is the game that gave me my start on YouTube. For such a simple premise, which is tagging other monkeys, it's such a fun game. Also, be sure to like this video if you want to see me make a tutorial on Gorilla Tag. Alright, let's check out the next game. Alright, so with what he said about Gorilla Tag, uh, with people being under 10 years old on the game, I don't see how that's a problem. I have a 7 year old daughter that is playing Gorilla Tag and she loves it. You're right though, it does take a lot of practice to do it. She can't figure out how to climb and stuff yet. And you said it took you two months to figure out. So she is practicing, she's learning, but she does love the game. However, you're right about the community. I wish there was a way to mute people a lot easier. Kind of like in console play where you can just mute your, um, mute the other people that you're playing with so you don't have to hear them because as a younger child playing it, it is kind of bad um, with people cussing and stuff like that while you're trying to play so that's a downside of it but gorilla tag she does love it and uh let's get on to the next game oh let's see what he has to say here by the way gorilla tag has updated around every month and is one of the most co uh, community active games on the MetaQuest store all right awesome this is the virtual reality game that every mario kurt fan has been hoping for Touring yeah. carts. Everything that you know and love in Nintendo Mario Kart games has been implemented into touring carts. The gameplay loop is the same, there are very similar power-ups. The only thing that sets this game apart is its campaign mode and its original maps. Multiplayer is super fun, but it can get laggy at times. But if you're looking for a fun and free racing game in VR, get V Speedway or Touring Carts. And it's free. That's These dope. next three games. Roblox, VR Chat, and Rec Room are super similar, so let's go through their highlights. Roblox is one of the most popular mobile games, and just recently it got turned into a virtual reality game. There are thousands of creator made games across VR Chat, Roblox, and Rec Room. Even you can create your own maps. I can guarantee you that when you download Roblox, there will be a game on there that you love. Roblox VR also is entirely multiplayer, which causes the game to lag a lot. The lag is sometimes so bad that the game's unplayable. That's why I say that Rec Room is one of my more personal favorites. As I was saying, if you're looking for a game similar to Roblox, Rec Room VR is your ideal game. Rec Room is much less laggy, has better games, has a better community, and it's so much easier to make games. Rec Room is such a hard game to describe that you might as well just jump in and try it yourself. Plus, some of my most funny and most viral clips come from the Spin the Bottle game on Rec Room. The game is amazing, online is amazing, everything about this game is just amazing. VR chat Sounds is amazing. exactly like Rec Room and Roblox, just for a little bit of a more mature community. I think the only reason I added VR chat to this list is because of its skins. In my opinion, everything oh, that uh -huh. VR chat does, Rec Room does better. Sure, VR chat is still a super fun game to play around in, but if you're going for more of a long-term game, choose Rec Room. Ultimax is one of the more unique games on this list, even though it follows a simple premise. After the success of Rocket League, many developers tried to recreate that game in VR. 
And in my opinion, no game does that better than Ultimax. The controls are super simplistic. Your trigger button shoots a rocket, and your A button moves you to different squares. In these quick two-minute matches, you want to score more goals than your opponent to win. However, the only way to move the ball is by using your rockets. This game gets updated on the regular and has a battle pass every couple of months. Online matches are super smooth and fun, just like the AI matches. Overall, Ultimax is a super fun game that's totally worth trying. That looked pretty cool. I don't know how you move around in that game because it seemed like he was shooting his rocket standing still and you can't like, like in Rocket League, you could drive your car around, right? You drive your car around and hit the ball, but I didn't see him actually moving his character around to hit the ball, but it did look like a, a pretty cool VR version of Rocket League. So we're definitely about to try that one out. So let's get to the next game. New York is probably one of my favorite games on Quest that is hand tracking only. In this game, you use your hands as thrusters to destroy Love meteors it. that are coming towards Earth. Before I get fully into this review, I just want to let you know that this is not the full version of the game. However, there's a lot of content in the demo and the full version is only 15 bucks. Upon breaking one of these meteors, you can receive power-ups to help benefit your game. There are also fun bosses that pop up when played. One of my favorite bosses is the spaceship. There's a fun little campaign mode and also a free play mode that you can customize the difficulty for a cute hand tracking indie game i'd say that this is worth trying next we have a super laid back game 4vr cornhole the 4vr company turns a lot of sports into vr games and they're always super fun and that is no exception to their cornhole game the physics in this game are so polished and so realistic this fun backyard game is flawlessly imported into vr there are also thousands of cosmetics so you can customize your board and bag so it looks how you want it to look also multiplayer is super smooth overall it's a super chill game that i think you should try out now let's see what the best free VR game is. Population 1 is essentially Fortnite in VR. By far, this is one of my favorite first-person shooter games on meta, even if you had to pay for it. You can play by yourself, you can play with squads, you can play with random squads, you can even create your own maps. And for up to 50 player servers, this game runs so smoothly. The controls can be complex, but once you get the hang of them, they are amazing. The gameplay loop is insane. I can be playing for two hours and not realize that any time has even passed. This game also has a season and battle pass system. The game is constantly updating with new map changes and new weapons. There are thousands of customizable options so you can make your character unique. I feel like I'm not even going over half of what this game has to offer. I think it's best if you just jump in and play it right away. Well, that was my list. I hope you guys- So, that last one was a population one. Looked pretty cool. He said it was kind of like Fortnite and VR. I think it's like zero build Fortnite mixed with like Call of Duty or whatever. But it did look pretty cool for a free game. And we will be playing a lot of these games on my channel, either live um, with subscribers. So if you have a VR and you want to play with me, that's awesome. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and come join my live streams. We do play a lot of Warzone, a lot of Fortnite, and now that we got a VR, we're we'll trying out a lot of different VR games. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.